Hey guys, welcome back to vlog number two. Today we're going to talk about my first five mods I did on my 2020 Toyota 4Runner. So one of the first things I did was switch out all of my interior lights to LED lights. These are super nice and bright. They are a kit by iBrightStar. They come with LED lights to fit all of your interior lights as well as doors, back hatches, dome light, and map light. So after I switched out all of my interior lights to LED lights, I went ahead and changed all my headlights to LED lights as well. So for the turn signals, I went ahead and switched out to the last fit uh, switch back lights. These actually turn white when they're not indicated to turn, but as soon as you t use the turn signals, they turn to an amber color, super awesome. Here in my low beams, I have the last fit LA series. I believe these are the H11s. And for my high beams, I have the Oxbeam 9005s. So these three have been super good. The only thing I will say is that the Oxbeam, they claim not to flicker when you use them as a DRL, but for all the instances that I've used them as, as a DRL, they do have a little bit of a flicker. It's not very noticeable, but if you're in the driver's side and you're looking at it, you can definitely tell there's a little bit of a flicker to it. So next thing I did was switched out all my emblems to a blackout emblem kit. The kit I got was from Toyota Freaks. It was about 80 bucks. This kit actually OEM is about $300 if you buy it from the dealership, but Toyota Freaks kit is super high quality, made of really high quality ABS plastic um, and 3M adhesive for 80 bucks. Really, really good investment, guys. Looks really, really good. Here's the side overlays. Got the off-road, all blacked out. Here's the front emblem. Super nice, high quality. Goes right over. 10 minute install, really easy. Why pay $300 at the dealership for this, right? I'll link this kit in the description as well. So if you guys recall, my 4Runner didn't come with any added accessories besides the all-weather mat. So the next thing I did was went ahead and got some Predator steps for the car. So the steps that I decided to go with were the Raptor series steps. Um, these are very similar to the Predator steps, but they're a little bit more angular. I didn't like the super round shape of the Predator steps. And these were only 300 bucks, super easy install, about 30 minutes. So the next thing I did was switch over my plastic key fob to the AJT version one key fob. This is the cement gray color with red aluminum screws in there. I like the version one because it allows you to use the uh, key. Version two does not allow that, but uh, with the new forerunners, it's push to start. You don't really need this key, but I actually like the look of version one a lot better. So that's it guys, my first five mods for my Toyota forerunner. I've had the car for about 500 miles now and I'm really enjoying it. I haven't gotten to drive it too much because we're still kind of on lockdown here in Minnesota, but um, my next plans for this car are gonna be the Toyota um, TRD Heritage Grill, as well as a three inch Eibach lift, um, new wheels and tires, but that will be for a, a little while later on. Um, I hope everyone's staying safe and staying healthy during these times. Um, I'll catch you in the next vlog, all right guys? Bye-bye.